Welcome, my beautiful souls. Um, this is going to be part two of all signs reading for November. It's just special messages that your guides want you to hear to help usher in November for you. Um, I had to do it in two parts because my computer stops recording after three hours. So they've been quite long. I already did Aries through Virgo. Uh, so now we're going to start with Libra. Uh, to Pisces and what I'm doing is I'm using a few different decks I am using the major arcanas which I think I forgot to use for Virgo um, but that's okay their reading was just mind-blowing so um, and then we are also using the romance angels if it calls for it we will use them we are going to use the gilded tarot to clarify and we're going to start with Libra. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the universal tarot to start with. I probably will change, you know, change decks maybe once or twice. Um, you know, we'll play it by ear. But I'm going to use the universal tarot for you, uh, for Libra. Uh, probably for a couple signs. And then we'll change decks. Um, I do want to remind everybody that I am running a personal reading special. Uh, $25 off whether you do a regular personal reading which you know a regular it's still like two hours I think the last personal reading I did was three hours long so I whatever time it needs is what I give it but they're always at least an hour and a half if not two hours um, and then I have emergency readings for those who like want that answer now uh, so $25 off each one of them, uh, either or. Um, you can also gift them, you know, just let me know. Like if you plan on, if you buy it to give it to someone, let's say for a present for Christmas or a holiday, uh, just let me know so I can add their name into my schedule um, or whether it just be for you. So I, de I definitely wanted to remind you of that. Um, what else? Anything else? I don't think so. Uh, I have to say, Aries through Virgo has been quite amazing. I'm so glad I did this reading. This is really just to help in any way that your guides want to help you. Um, an open vessel for them. Um, as many of you know, I do read through my spirit guides. So uh, definitely feel free to ask your guides to send you signs of confirmation so that you yourself can really feel it. And sometimes that can mean you get like angel bumps or I'll say a certain word or numbers, you know. Um, I've been seeing a lot of synchronicities in the readings. So definitely feel free to ask your guides to give you confirmation. And yes, trust your own intuition above all. Um, but just know that your guides are here because... I connect to my spirit guides who then connect to your spirit guides. That's why a reading can resonate with so many people because I feel we're all one big soul family, whether you've been with me from when I started or whether you're brand new. If you're brand new, I just say welcome to the soul family because that's what we are, one big soul family. Um, okay, I'm going to stop talking and get into the reading so I don't run out of time. We're going to start with Libra. My beautiful Libras. So let's go ahead and start with our major arcana. I'm going to give them a shuffle. And I'm really only looking for one with these. That's it. Oh, okay. Well, we have the tower. So that could signify something that's ending. We're going to bring the lid down. Um, could certainly signify something is ending. You know, I often feel in the tower someone could have fallen from grace. Sometimes you receive the tower, which can mean there's disruption in your life. Um, but, but you know, that's the case. I feel like the day will come where you'll look back at that tower and you'll be thankful. You'll be like, oh, if it wasn't for that tower, I wouldn't be where I am now. Some of you could be also giving that tower. All right, so I'm going to give the Universal Tarot a cut. And then we're going to begin 
Well, we've already begun. All right, and I am taking from the top. So, let's begin. All right, so Libra, interesting. We start with your major arcana. Um, which, you know, it's interesting because the first reading I did was Aries and it opened up with their major arcana. I always love when you show up in your own reading. Justice. Justice to me, it can certainly talk about ties being cut. That can be what the tower means. But I feel like it would be you then cutting the tower, or cutting the ties. Justice is really about making you whole again. What's fair and just in your world? You know, and I feel like whatever ties it may be speaking about, what it ultimately does is gives you balance. So how you can look at this is, as it speaks about cutting ties, like what what is it in my life that is making me feel unbalanced? And simply by the action of cutting those ties, I feel like the scales recalculate and then you're balanced again. Let's keep going. Mm, five of Cups. Five of Cups has come out quite a few times, I have to say, in different decks. And then we have the Hermit, part of Virgo. But it doesn't have to be that. You know, it's interesting because in the Five of Cups, Five of Cups really is about where my focus is at. And what I'm focusing on in the Five of Cups is really the cups that have been knocked over. The cups that potentially are no longer serving me. Maybe I don't know that at the moment. Um, it is a five, so it does ask for change. Well, justice is right before it. So I do feel like this may say there may be someone in your life that you need to cut ties with to live the, the type of life that you want to live. You know, you don't have to cut ties. It's always up to you. But does it serve you? Well, what's behind this person when they cut those ties? Two cups. And to me, that represents soulmate energy. So maybe I've been giving my energy to someone who is just not participating like in the relationship, it's it is of emotional nature, and then you have the hermit. Um, the hermit is looking right back at that five of cups, and really, what the hermit is illuminating with this beacon of light are the two cups that are behind this person. I often feel that this person is wearing the cloak of the hermit. You know, so they are seeking spiritual wisdom. They do want to make this change. It doesn't mean it's easy, but will it be worth it? I think so. The Hermit can talk about definitely going through the dark night of the soul, seeking spiritual wisdom. Um, I often feel like the Hermit, you know, once I emerge from the cave, that I myself help others, you know, and it could just be a natural energy. You know, where I, like, I, it makes me feel good to help others, to give them clarity. You know, I am a Virgo, so I get this energy. I don't know if I said it's a card of Virgo, your neighbor. Um, but I feel like what it's illuminating are the two cups that potentially you don't see yet. Maybe you don't even know they exist. We have... The Hierophant, the card of Taurus. This is really about your belief system, your morals. And is, you know, am I connected to someone who whose morals are very much like mine, or are they completely different? This is about your faith, keeping hope alive, you know, trusting in divine that there can be change. You know, I just realized that I love this image because you see two keys here. And I feel like these keys unlock the kingdom. Well, to what? To these two cups. So that feels like of a high vibrational energy right there. But the hermit also illuminating that for you. You're kind of illuminating it for yourself. Um, but it's like your higher wisdom. Five 
change. You have two fives. The sirens just went off. I don't know. Then we have the two pentacles. So they call the two pentacles a juggler's card. I call it using your logical mind, especially with a Virgo on the table, because that's what Virgo does. Um, you know, the only thing with Virgo is Virgo can overthink something. So just be careful not to overthink. Um, but I feel like what this is saying, it definitely puts the ball in your court. So any change that's about to happen, you do get to say yay or nay to. Well, hello, nine of cups. First of all, you have two nines and two fives in this reading. And fives speak of change. Nines speak about reflection. But final reflection. What I love about this is the nine of cups is about inner harmony. So even though we do have the five of cups, which can feel difficult it does ask you to ask yourself what am i focusing on am i focusing on the cups that have been knocked over or am i going to start focusing on the potential of what's next what's new right the potential of two soulmates i don't even think i'm really looking for it i feel like they'll just natch it just naturally will happen it's like it looks like your energy is evolving so if your vibration is lifting, then what comes towards you must also be of that same vibration. Nine of Cups is inner harmony, but it's also a fulfillment of a wish or wishes. So interesting, you have two fives, change, and then two nines, reflection. You know, some of you, these two cups may come in. First of all, I feel like first I have to cut ties again. And it doesn't even have to be to a person. It could just be energetically. Like, I'm not going to focus on the things that I have lost. I, You know, maybe I, I'm going to start understanding it more from a spiritual level. You know, like remembering that I am a spiritual being, having human experiences there's really nothing I cannot get through. Um, and not all love works. I mean, it's just, a, you know, that's a fact. Not all, or another way of saying that, there's different levels to love. There is lower vibrational love. And then I feel like as my vibration lifts, so does the vibration that comes towards you. There's some type of wish coming true. But I feel like you're ready for it. That hermit is making sure that you see those two cups. And that can mean even on a spiritual level. All right, let's bring in the Gilded Trail. And let me go ahead and give them a, a shuffle and a cut since we're starting a new reading or a new video. Let's cut them right over. Um, by the way, you have three major arcanas out of six cards. So it could be like significant changes, but all of them serving you. We have the Strength card, card Leo. But this is really about someone who was bold enough to look within, understanding oneself. What, what's the energy I need to overcome? You know, I feel like this, this is about being courageous. And it could talk about, again, maybe I do need to cut ties to a certain energy. But it is about making you whole again. It is an eight, so it does stand for a new beginning. And maybe I just needed to find that strength within myself. Well, wow, all your cards came out at once. We have the Queen of Cups. Look what she's holding there. 
her cup and she's holding it out. And to me, that represents that I'm ready to give that cup over the five of cups, but she's in the opposite direction. Five of cups is looking back. She's looking towards the future. Beautiful Empress, right over the hermit. Some of you, you're so much wiser than you even know. You know, you put the hermit and the Empress together. That's powerful. You know, the Empress is about living in the present moment. This is someone who has learned through her life not to close down her own heart, his or hers, not to close down my heart, to stay loving and nurturing. But she's also very powerful. She's very strong. She knows who she is. You know, and I feel like it's a good symbol of, because we do have the Five of Cups, to me that signifies that there is soulmate energy somewhere. I feel like it's right around the corner. This is someone who is going to trust her intuition. And coming over the hermit, very spiritual. Could talk about going through the dark night of the soul, but coming out the other end. We have the moon. Card of Pisces, ruler of Cancer. The moon can talk about uncertainties. You know, but, but sometimes I got to learn to be comfortable with that, you know, and what I mean by that is sometimes the whole path is not revealed. It's just step by step by step. And we are creating this path by the seeds that we're planting. You know, if, if this is talking about soulmate energy that's coming towards you and it's coming towards the Empress and this queen is holding out that cup, then she is probably going to say yes. She's probably going to recognize that it's a soulmate energy. But it doesn't mean I have to move it quickly. It'll move according to its own pace. Well, so I feel like you just made a decision. So we have the two pentacles, right? This is where you are trying to decide. I feel like the Queen of Cups, um, I'm reading her more as her energy. I feel like this is someone holding a cup out for you. And it may not have happened if that tower never happened. Again, she's looking towards the future, not the past. Why am I holding this up? So to me, this is saying yes. This is me saying, okay, I'm willing to step onto it. I'm willing to step onto this path. And I love the two of wands path. It's passionate. It's action oriented. You're guided. You know, you're following your desires. We have the seven of cups. We have the page of wands, who is my little risk taker. And look at this. We have the counterpart to the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. Now, the Queen and the King of Cups can certainly represent Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We do have Pisces. Um, and the Moon is also the ruler of Cancer. But I feel like what this is talking about, like-minded energy. Like-minded energy. You know... It's coming over the Nine of Cups. And in the Nine of Cups, this is where you're feeling like you have this inner harmony. Doesn't mean my life is perfect. Doesn't mean I have all that I need and all that I want. But I'm not allowing, you know, a negative headspace to stop me from moving forward. You know, I do feel like you need to use the Sword of Justice to cut out what is just not fair, what just what is not working, right? This is saying that you will overcome that, you know, and stepping onto the path of the two of wands, though, again, we have these two who are like-minded, the queen and the king of cups. Well, you know what I think of the queen and king of cups? I feel like both of them love love. Or... 
maybe I shouldn't have said it like that. I feel like both of them appreciate having a special partner in their life. You know, someone they can call their own. If something happens during my day, who do I call? I call you. No doubt, you're the first person I call. And I feel like the Page of Wands, who, again, is my risk taker, it's asking you to take a chance, take a risk, step upon the path, see where it leads you. You know, this Nine of Cups, I feel like, first of all, the strength card, that ability to overcome ourselves, our fears, you know, and maybe trusting more in divine Um, in our spiritual team to lead us, to guide us. Well, they're guiding you. Again, the hermit's lantern is illuminating two cups. And by the way, two, two, two. Hmm. Makes me feel like if this is talking about love, which it is, um, though, It's also talking about the past and the ability to overcome it and to really let it be and let it go and then be open. Like, you know, the empress is someone who has learned. It doesn't suit me to shut down my heart. This is someone who stays loving and nurturing. But she, especially mirroring the strength card, she is one powerful being. You know what I mean? She's constantly receiving epiphanies as we all are, but she's someone who listens to him, who follows him, and she's carrying so much spiritual wisdom with her. I feel like I have to bring out the romance angels right now. Let's give them a cut since, again, we're beginning again, so to speak. I'll probably title this part two. All right, so I'm just going to go right across the middle of the reading. With um, keeping in mind that, again, the hermit's illuminating really soulmate energy and like-minded energy. So we have forgiving and learning. That's probably part of what the strength card was. You know, the empress doesn't carry past pain with her. She's evaluated it, she's looked at it, and she's cleared it. And that's what forgiving and learning is. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love, more love in your present moment. Empress lives in the present moment. Why? Because she knows that's where her signs are sent. That's where her guidance is at. Look at that. Flipped itself around the deck. To me, that's just even a more special symbol for my guides when they when it actually flips around in the deck. So, and by the way, it's landing over that five of cups where I'm telling you, the hermit's illuminating soulmate energy. There it is. Yes, this is your soulmate. And it's connecting the queen and the king together. Forgiving and learning, that may be, well, I feel like the best thing, it just means that I'm not willing to carry the energy of the past with me. You know, it doesn't mean I have to pick up the phone and, you know, tell someone I forgive them. It just means I'm forgiving in my own heart because I'm ready for what's new. Doesn't even mean I'm looking for love. But but it's showing anyway. Yes, this is your soulmate. You deserve love. You are lovable. Oh, yes, you are. I feel like that's what someone's going to say to you. Putting the past in the past, that's what the strength card is about. The hermit illuminating the soulmates. Here it is. Connecting the queen and king together. And then you are lovable. I definitely feel like someone is going to say those words to you. And you may say those words right back. 
Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And let's take one more. Hello, true love. True love. Connected to soulmates. This is a romance of a lifetime. You know, I always find it interesting when you see like difficult energy first, like that tower. That takes time to overcome, right? But sometimes this is a necessity, whether I'm giving it. And if it's the tower that I'm receiving, well, in this energy, I feel like there will be a day when I'll look back and I'll be like, thank you. Thank you, tower. Because without you, I never would have found this love who is a true love. Not only a true love. But a soulmate. That's what the hermit is illuminating for us. And the empress. Wow. Page of Wands makes me feel like this is about just taking a chance. You know, taking a leap of faith. I definitely feel the queen and the king. Again, I'm not even reading them as water. I'm reading them as love. You know, like-minded. Let's say like-minded energy. And then the two pentacles below all this, it puts the ball in your court. But this reading is saying that you deserve this type of love. And, you know, let's not forget there are different vibrations to love. And with the Empress on the table, I feel like it's talking about your vibration and how your vibration has lifted due to your experiences. You know, think about the hermit. I often feel the hermit like goes through the dark night of the soul. But through that dark night of the soul, I'm really speaking, I'm really seeking spiritual wisdom. Well, because the hermit is has emerged from the cave, so to speak, or that dark night of the soul, it's now illuminating those, well, the soulmates. It's illuminating it. Not only is it illuminating those two cups, but then you actually get the soulmates come out that connects the king and queen together, and then it tells you this is your true love. You know, this feels like such a quick reading, but I feel like everything came out just the way it was meant to. I feel like this is saying be proud of who you are today. Know that you do deserve love. And understand that there are different vibrations to love. I feel like you know that already. And when I see the tower, you know, but then the empress feel like, I'm going to thank that tower. Thank God that tower happened because what, what did it do for me? It moved me towards really my true love. And the Empress is of a high vibration. Doesn't mean she's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But she is loving and nurturing. She's powerful. She's strong. She's overcome. She's constantly receiving epiphanies, as we all are, but she really pays attention. She knows she needs to live in the present moment. She is this queen. And here comes this king. And I, I, I almost feel like there is nothing you need to do except cut ties to what's no longer serving you. Maybe forgive within your heart. The empress would do that. You know, again, doesn't mean I'm going to pick up the phone and call someone. That's up to you. You don't need to. It's just forgiving within your own heart. Sometimes we need to forgive ourselves. Like, how did I get stuck in that low vibrational energy? Well, you may have gotten tempted or maybe your soul wanted to learn like all different levels of love. This feels like the highest level of love. This is beautiful. This is beautiful after the tower. That's why we shouldn't fear the tower. You know, the tower really is our friend, but it can feel difficult at the time. But if we tell ourselves that, okay, 
So something or someone's being cut out of my life or I'm cutting someone out of my life. And though that's difficult and, you know, maybe I didn't even ask for this. That's difficult. This is showing you what lies after the tower. I mean, this is pure love. This is pure love. Wow. Okay, Libra. Well, your reading didn't take long at all. It just like said exactly what it needed to say. I feel like I just need to be willing to step upon that path and the rest will just follow. The moon, yes, I may not know exactly where it's going to end up, but the moon is also very dreamy type energy. All right. I'll take it. All right, let me let me get some order here. So we're going to move into Scorpio. Um, but we're going to give the major arcanas a couple shuffles. Okay, that's too many. True. Scorpio, there's your major arcana, the death card. So, you can talk about chapters ending. Death card's about transformation. You can talk about a door closing, but I promise you, it means a new door is open and a new door is opening, and it's time for that new door to open. All right, let's keep going. Well, there you are again, Queen of Cups. Two of Swords. King of Pentacles. Interesting that the King and the Queen are looking at each other, but the Two of Swords is in between them. Two of Swords, you know, I feel like that's a human energy. It's like, it's like when fear raises its ugly head, but, you know, it's not the Age of Swords, it's the Two of Swords, so I can overcome this. This Two of Swords is leaning more towards the Queen than the King, but it looks like the King is coming in. The Queen, again, is holding her cup out. So, you know, it, it makes me feel like I, I, I want love, but yet maybe I still have a little fear relating to it. And let's not forget with the death card, it's talking about transformation. It's talking about one door closing so that a new door can open. Seven of Pentacles. Well, Seven of Pentacles to me is really what's meant to be. Um, seven of Pentacles has a few different messages. The first one is patience. And you'll hear me say this often. I relate it to like an apple tree. This is your tree of life. These are your soul seed of intentions. And like an apple tree, I'm not going to pick an apple until it's ripe. Right? If I pick it too soon, it's just going to be bitter. If I if I pick it after the fact, well, then it's no good. I feel like sometimes this talks about soulmates who have planted seeds before they even came into this lifetime to come together at a certain time and this just may be the time so maybe i did need to have patience sometimes though the universe is having patience on us to me this means a seed is coming to fruition and again meant to be or let me say it this way my soul Probably asked for this. We have the page of cups. That could be your inner child. I feel like this is saying you have to know that you deserve love. And really the highest level of love. But don't regret old love either. Because you probably learned so much from it. I'll tell you one thing you learned. What you no longer want. 
now you know what type of energy you know maybe you've been attracted to a certain type of energy and now you're understanding that okay that's not suiting me it doesn't get me anywhere you know this could certainly talk about others who you know didn't love you in the way you deserved and you could have taken it like within your inner child like ah oh, the injury within the inner child giving that inner child a chance to heal. But I also feel like the Page of Cups is about, well, I feel like pages can speak about what's in the atmosphere. And look what this, this page is holding, a cup. Eight of Wands. So, Eight of Wands means a couple different things to me. First of all, what I think about, I bring about. Maybe I'm manifesting this. Maybe I know it. Maybe I'm doing it subconsciously. This is also fast-moving energy. This could certainly talk about, um, I don't know why I'm just feeling love, but I am. I'm just feeling love. Um, but, you know, when I say that, I also feel your accomplishments. I also feel how your vibration, you know, how you yourself have grown. Eight, a new beginning. That means you're allowing this transformation to happen. Two of swords, you know, sometimes that's wearing a blindfold. There could be something I don't want to face. But it does serve me to face it. But, you know, a lot of times I read that as just the humanness in us. You know, I could have cleared a lot of energy. I could have had a lot of transformation. My own vibration is lifting. But that doesn't mean that fear won't raise its ugly head. But it shouldn't stop you. You know what I mean? And if that's the case, then I would say this is where you take it slow. Though the Eight of Wands is fast-moving energy. You know, some of you are manifesting, um, whether you know it or not. And by the way, what are you manifesting? One of these seeds of your tree of life. And this king just so happens to be holding one of those seeds. Um, I don't know if I said this could represent the king of pentacles, could represent um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but it doesn't have to. You know, to me, I feel like, especially because they're facing each other, and with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like it talks about um, someone that I can trust, someone that would have my interest at heart. You know, maybe this king knows I got to get through that to those two swords. But I feel like I will. I will. It feels like it's meant to be. You know, maybe subconsciously, again, we've been manifesting each other. Page of Cups, what's in the atmosphere? Well, that is love. So let's go ahead and bring in. Oh, well, let's. Bring in the Gilded Tro first. And let's go a little deeper. You know, seven to me is a spiritual number. So this could certainly represent that you're moving into a very spiritual time in your life. Hmm, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, right over the Queen. You know, the Knight of Wands um, can be fast-moving energy. It's passionate. It's desirable. It can be scary because it does move quickly. Hello, Ten of Pentacles. That feels perfect with the King of Pentacles. Because to me, the Ten of Pentacles 
you know, it means a lot of things. But right now, I feel like this is talking about love more than anything. And I feel like this is talking about house of abundance, a house that takes roots. And what I mean by that, it's a house that can last forever. I feel like this can signify that this isn't about some bum coming in. This is someone who has their shit together, you know, probably has a career, a good career. Um, I'm not saying they're rich, anything like that, but I feel like, you know, like I contribute to the world and probably also to you. I do feel like the Ten of Pentacles signifies loyalty. I feel like this is something that can truly take root and last forever and maybe even beyond. It's a great omen with the Knight of Wands coming in right before. You know, let's say I have any fear. Then what I would say is give this person time and a chance to reveal who they truly are. And if then you're unsatisfied, then just say no. But what if you are satisfied? What if you are satisfied? King of Wands over the King of Pentacles. Six of Cups over the Seven of Pentacles. And then look at this, two pages. Page of Wands over the Page of Cups. Interesting. This could be someone, you know, with the Six of Cups, for some of you, this could talk about someone you already know. You know, it could talk about someone you knew back in the day. And, you know, just from my own life story, I know that that can happen. I know that it can happen in very unexpected ways. Um, I find it interesting that, oh, I just realized we have the Page of Cups over the Page of Cups. I thought that was the Page of Wands. So now we have like-minded energy. You know, to me, the Page of Cups, well, it means so much. But I feel like here, it's talking about something that's moving you into a much more playful type energy. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, or I'm just letting my inner child out. I'm letting my inner child experience. And it feels like it, you're experiencing love. We have two different kings. King of Wands is, is mirroring the king. I'm sorry. The King of Wands is mirroring the Knight of Wands. But let's talk about these two kings. Because they could be the same person. So one could talk about loyalty. You know, I have a career. I have money. You know, I'm not coming in with my hands out. Quite the opposite. And then the King of Wands is action-oriented. Well, that makes sense with the Knight of Pentacles, someone who follows their desires. So even if you tell me no, I might still chase you a little. Not a little. I'll chase you. But I mean that in, in a very loving way. Like, I feel like the King would, would say, if the Queen said, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I feel very quickly he would pick up that the reason why she's potentially saying, I don't know, is because of a little fear. Not a lot, just a little. Then we have the moon. Did come in reverse. So the moon can talk about uncertainties. So, some, so maybe someone's making it very clear. Someone's being very clear with you. You know, this reminds me, I can't even remember whose reading it was, but I could see this energy where, you know, again, we're closing one door so that a new a door, a new door can open, transformation. And I could see this being like where on my social media, you know, I may have been, I may have the status in a relationship. But then I change it to single. We do have the Six of Cups coming over the Seven of Pentacles. So it could signify to this person like a signal. Okay. Queen of Cups is single. I wonder. 
I wonder if she'll give me an opportunity. You know, the moon in reverse, first of all, the moon is the is part of Pisces, ruler of cancer. Um, but I feel like really what this is saying is it coming over the eight of wands, which is fast moving energy. But I do feel like at least subconsciously, this is what you're manifesting. And maybe both. Because we have two pages of cups. So, you know, love is in the atmosphere. Love is in the air. Everywhere I turn around. Hmm. All right. Let's bring in the romance angels. Let's give them a quick shuffle. And, well, okay. Passion. Well, that's what the knight's bringing in. Knight of Wands brings in passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Allow yourself to experience. To see where it takes you. You don't have to make a commitment right away. But it makes me feel like very quickly... You're going to feel this passion. Like, and I feel like that's why the King of Wands came out. Yes, it can represent a fire sign and the King of Pentacles can represent um, an earth sign. But I feel like it's, they're the same person, to be honest. So I feel like someone is going to come into your life and they carry a lot of passion. And let's face it, Scorpio, you do love love. And you're usually very good at love. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate, oh, hello, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You know, it's funny because my daughter's a soul. My daughter's a soulmate. She probably is my soulmate. Um, my daughter's a Scorpio. And um, I'm not even going to give the sign, but she's dated like a certain sign quite a few times and it never works out. And I kept, I always tell her, I'm like, maybe you should look at different signs. You know what I mean? Um, but I kind of love this. Your soulmate. So it's telling us right away it's a soulmate. May differ from your usual type and expectations. This may say, allow yourself to feel it first before you deny it. Let's see if anything else wants to come out. Um, you know, I'm getting a lot of soulmate energy in the readings, but I have to tell you, way back in January, um, I did, you know, your year in review. And I felt like last year, I felt a lot of twin flames were going to come together. This year, I felt a lot of soulmates were going to come together. We are getting close to closing out this year. And I feel like that's, and, and I've been doing a lot of love readings lately. Um, and that's probably one of the reasons, you know, I do a reading when I feel called to do it. I just did a reading called New Love. Um, but I also did a reading of Past Love. You know, it's all in my playlist. Uh, and what I would do is just like glance over them. If a certain title reaches to you or calls to you, then watch it. It may really resonate with you. But okay, what do we have? Well, hello, past life relationship. So, again, we definitely know that you're soulmates. You have known each other before. You probably have loved each other before. You know, this image reminds me of the lover's image. Past life. Even a past life doesn't mean that I naturally just jump into it. But because there's so much passion on the board, 
I feel like it'd be very hard not to. And I also like the synchronicities. Um, that means a lot to me. Like, I would never recommend, you know, say the Seven of Swords came out. I would say no, say no. You know what I mean? But it didn't come out. It didn't come out. Instead, passion's coming out. Um, your seeds of intention are coming to fruition. This feels like it's a period of time that should bring joy to your heart. This is saying that this person, um, and maybe both of you, it's like both of you have your own careers, you know, you make your own money. And what I mean by that is I don't feel like this is anyone coming to your life. It's like, gimme, gimme, gimme. Quite the opposite. They probably want to give and you probably want to give. It may take time, but that's okay. Because I feel like that's what love is about. It's about enjoying the journey. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Wow. Past life relationship. They're returning to my life. Keep an open mind. Allow yourself to feel it. You know, literally, it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Joy. Right above passion, or right below passion. Connected to your tree of life. The uncertainties feel like they then become certain. Like, I feel. You know, it's like that type of energy where I feel like I've known you before. Well, you have. You have known each other before. Not only have you known each other, and by the way, just look at that image. I mean, look at the images. It's like a different lifetime, but they're connected. Look at the beauty. They're like the lovers. Scorpio. You can say no. Don't we have the two swords there? Yep. Yeah. And it is swaying more towards the queen. So I feel like it's the queen who may have a little fear. But again, that's natural. So the moon, just take a step into it. If you so choose, it is your choice. I don't know how you could deny this energy, to be honest. But it still is your choice. I don't have anything here of like where, you know, I'm hanging on to the past or I'm um, in an angry type energy. No, I don't feel any of that. I feel like I'm just living my life. And then lo and behold, and I feel like they're just living their life. And lo and behold, it's just the right time. It's just the right time. This seed is coming to fruition right when these soulmates had planted them. And I'm talking about before you even came into this lifetime. Again, past life. Current life. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That might be a good thing. Wow. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it there. I'm trying to not make these too, too long. Um, that's why I ran out of time in the first reading. All right. So, Sagittarius. Let's start with the... Major Arcanas. Judgment. Judgment is your spiritual team. And they're calling you to the present moment. For a few different reasons. First of all, the present moment is where your signs, your guidance is, is sent. You know, if we remember that we are spiritual beings... And that we have a whole spiritual team that's assigned to us. Actually, I just, well, I continued on with um, some little readings I was doing to introduce you to um, the angels that 
are assigned to Scorpio, or Scorpio what am I saying, Sagittarius, or to every sign. Um, I'm starting a series where I'm, I'm just wanting you to get to know your angels. Here they are. This is your whole spiritual team, though. Calling you to the present moment. It's talking about a rebirth. But it's also saying that the signs to help guide you so that you feel good and comfortable. They'll be in your present moment. They're not in the past and they're not in the future. We have the Knight of Swords. Look how fast he's moving. Dun, 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 dun. The Magician. First thing I notice with the Magician is the infinity above his head. The infinity symbol. As above, so below. No beginning, no end. Hmm, three swords. We'll see why that's there. Six of swords, good. I'm happy to see that right now. And the reason why is the three swords talks about heartache, potential loss. Um, but I have a feeling it's also talking about maybe toxic energy. Because the six of swords, I feel like you have to look back to the five of swords. And that ta that does talk about toxic energy. That's probably why judgment's calling you to the present moment. So this is you moving on from it. That's what I love about the Six of Swords. Temporarily, it can feel a little difficult, but it really is the promise of calmer waters right ahead. So I feel like this is you overcoming that Three Swords. You know, whatever heartache that is, this could be giving someone three chances. Hello, marriage card. My favorite love card. Not because it's marriage. But because it's about true commitment. It doesn't have to be marriage. You know, Sam and I aren't married. Um, but there's a true commitment. In the Four of Wands, I feel like everybody wants to be there. This is not about me trying to pull someone like to the altar. That type of energy. This is just natural. This is love. Really of the highest. And coming right under the magician. I don't feel like this is talking about the past because I feel like that's what the three of swords was. And then you're moving on from that. And judgment is saying, we're guiding you, but we need you in the present moment. Well, the magician, you know, a magician is a reminder that, first of all, you're manifesting your life. You're working hand in hand with divine. You know what I mean? It's the seeds that you plant today. That really determine what your tomorrow is going to be. So I feel like I'm done with the three of swords. I'm moving on. And look what then opens up. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. That means it's coming into your physical world. That means it is coming into your physical world. It's like a reward from le for leaving the toxicity behind. That's why judgment's calling you to the present moment because this Ace of Pentacles means something is coming in that's tangible for someone sitting right next to the Four of Wands. This could be unexpected communication or someone may reach out before you even let that toxicity behind, and that may be the strength that you were looking for. But nonetheless, it's like goodbye, heartache, and hello, probably real love. I'm not going to say the love before wasn't real, but I don't feel like it's going to match up to what your spiritual team is saying is on its way. And again, they're helping to guide you. It's not like you even have to try to control it. Though the magician, again, knows the importance of planting certain seeds. 
you know, and not putting a lot of control on that. You know, it's just simply I may say, you know what, I think I really am ready for love. And that may be all that my spiritual team needed to hear. I think I'm ready. Well, if you're ready, we're ready. Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Again, the House of Abundance. Death card. Over the Magician. Closing a door. It feels like judgment is saying that. Like, let's close that old door. And let's allow this new door to open. It's about transformation. Seven of Wands over the Three of Swords. And the King of Pentacles over the Six of Wands. Or the Six of Swords. Standing your ground in the Seven of Wands. But over what? The Three of Swords. You know... I know people don't like when I say this. Not everyone. Some people do. But I have to know what I'm standing my ground against. Because I am noticing the three swords that are piercing that heart. Do I want to stay and fight? And try to get someone to stop putting these swords in my heart? Because in the Seven of Swords, that's kind of what I'm doing. Can also talk about putting out someone else's fire over and over and over. I put one fire out, another fire begins. Death card is like, do you want to do that? I don't think so. But maybe it's a lesson I needed to learn. Um, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Though again, doesn't have to be. And again, I love how the King of Pentacles is attached. Right to the Ten of Pentacles. By the way, some of you could be receiving some great news as uh, relating to like your finances, job offers, or opportunity to increase your money in some way. Maybe this is how you meet someone. Look at this, the Knight of Swords. I don't know, what, why am I, oh, because we have the Knight of Swords right there. I can't believe the synchronicities I'm finding in all the readings. Knight of Swords right over the marriage card. Look at this, judgment again, right over the Ace of Pentacles. Do I feel like two people are being guided together? Hello, Ten of Cups. I absolutely do. Not only do you have the Ten of Pentacles, but listen, some of you, that could be what you're leaving. Because this king is coming over the Six of Swords. So it could be what I'm saying goodbye to. But it feels like you're switching houses. And now you're moving into the Ten of Cups. This is a house of love, a house of harmony, joy, laughter, playfulness. And it's connected right to judgment. Judgment opened up your reading, and judgment is really, well, I'm not really closing your reading because I'm not done, but this part of it, I am. Judgment is like, if you want to find your Ten of Cups, pay attention to me, right? Here is this Ace of Pentacles. Not only am I promising to bring it in, but I'm helping to guide you. It feels like it. It's going to come in through some type of communication. It does feel like it is important that a door does close. Though for some of you, it could certainly represent Scorpio. But it's also representing your power in manifesting the type of love you are, or type of life you want. And, you know, it doesn't mean like saying, like, I only accept someone who, you know, is Irish, um, has blonde hair, blue eyes. No. This is trusting within your spiritual team that they're going to lead you 
right probably to the love of your life. And I also feel like I don't want to leave off the table that I feel like I feel like there's good news coming your way also as it relates to your money. So there could be new opportunities coming your way. All right, let's take the romance angels. I definitely feel like this reading is calling for it. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Well, there's a magician. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So it'll be undeniable. Attraction. You attract romantic light of, excuse me, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That's what judgment talks about, living in the present moment. Not trying to project yourself too far out in the future. You know, you have two tens, ten of pentacles, the ten of cups, both beautiful energies, right? But what we also want to remember is don't forget about the journey. You know, the journey, the chemistry, like the feelings that you get from it. And then give your relationship a chance. Work on partnership. That may be one of the lessons you've been learning. Um, not that I, 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 you know, it's not that I feel like that you are lacking, but maybe, I don't know, like, I feel like if this is talking about old love, I feel like there's no chemistry there. I feel like chemistry is probably gone. And then attraction, I feel like it's it's like you coming back to you again. You know, like, first of all, I feel like you have to know that you do deserve love, that you do deserve the highest energy of love. But you also be able, you have to be able to match that, right? You got to be what it is you want to come back to you. The universe must meet you right where you're at. I feel like that's why the magician is here. Like, I have to know that I have the power to manifest, especially if I'm working hand in hand with divine. Stay optimistic. You know, judgment is saying, I have this ace right here. But you won't know it if you're living in the past. And you won't know it if you're projecting yourself too far out in the future. I need you right now in the current moment. Some of you, yes, you may be switching houses. But you're moving towards the Ten of Cups. Judgment is like blowing the trumpet right over the Ten of Cups. Not only the Ten of Cups, but also the Ace of Pentacles. That's what ushers it all in. The Magician. Work hand in hand with your spiritual team to bring about, like, really the highest level of all. Okay. Um, but I also want to remind you, Sag, that, again, you may have some opportunities coming your way that can really help increase, let's say, your finances or Maybe something that you wanted to do in the world, you know, um, kind of like career related, related or creativity. Um, I feel like this may be just the perfect time for that. So you might not only be finding love, you might be finding that your money is just increasing tenfold. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, I am going to take both. Normally, I only take in one, but I feel like I got to take these. 
First of all, we have the Empress. And then, hello, Will. This is Destiny. Hey, see how this woman is getting ready to spin this wheel? She's got a blindfold on. To me, that represents blind faith. Sitting next to the Empress, some of you, you could certainly have a mother figure who is part of helping to guide you. Um, you know, someone who has crossed over, whether it be a mother or grandmother, an aunt. I feel a very loving type energy. I guess it doesn't have to mean that they were like super loving in this lifetime, but for some of you, they were. Let me grab a drink real quick. I'm doing a lot of talking. Oh my gosh, I just looked out my window and it's dark out. What is today? Friday? We set our clocks back this weekend. All right. Aquarius. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. Three of Wands. That's good. That makes me feel like you're overcoming something. You're overcoming um, probably a difficult period in your life. You know, I add that five and three together. That's an eight. And that does speak about a new beginning. Again, blind faith. But faith is the word. Another three. Look at that. Three of Pentacles. You know what I love about the Three of Pentacles? First of all, it's very creative energy. Um, but in the Three of Pentacles, we'll see what this, you know, first of all, two threes, 33. Someone here might have a master number 33. Or 33 may ring a bell with you in some way. Um, or it could be a number you ask your guides to, you know, come out in a reading. Um, I don't even know. Did I tell you to do that? Mm, I know in the first reading I said, feel free to ask your spirit guides to send you confirmation. I don't know if I said it in when I started this video, but I'll say it now. Feel free to ask your guides to send you confirmation. And one other thing. You know, I would check out your sun, your moon, and your rising because I feel together they will tell a nice little story. Um, but anyway, back to you. So the Three of Pentacles talks about your individuality and other people recognizing that about you. You know, it's recognition and reward. Um, the Three of Wands right before, it's an optimistic view. And it's interesting that it's coming after the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles often feel... It could be like some type of a tower energy happen. Something may have happened outside of my control. I don't feel like in the Five of Pentacles, I have the luxury of just doing nothing. You know, going in my bed and just crying or what have you. I have to keep moving. Um, but then you move into the Three of Wands. So something changes and we'll see what that puts you in an optimistic energy. Three of Wands is also someone who has learned it's important to live in the present moment and understand that their ships will come in in their divine time. You know, it's just it's 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 not trying to control everything. It's just knowing that my signs and my guidance come in the present moment. And it's really, you know, I feel like optimism is a choice. Now, I get it. Sometimes it's hard to be optimistic when everything is not going so great. But I feel like things are changing. So the recognition of who you are in this world. You know, there is no one else like you. Hello, soulmates. Hello, soulmates. Hmm. Five of Swords, interesting. Two fives, two threes. Fifty-five, thirty-three, and then the Nine of Wands. Okay, I feel like the Nine of Wands is an important energy here because the Nine of Wands is about reflecting back. But it's about reflecting back, no judgment. 
it's it's really to understand how you have grown from your experiences, especially the difficult ones, and being proud of who you are today. You know, you wouldn't be the person you are today without all the experiences, both good and bad, that you've been through. They all taught you. So, and if you look at this image, this person's like busting under their clothes. That's because they've gained so many spiritual muscles. I may have thought one person was my soulmate. And listen, they could certainly be a soulmate. Soulmates are here to help each other, teach each other. But sometimes, you know, we learn more from the difficult lessons than we do from the easy ones. I feel like the Five of Swords, where... You know, you can see that this person's leaving, maybe family, whoever this may be, who whose energy just becomes toxic to yours, who feels like, you know, maybe I spend so much time trying to fix their problems that I don't get a chance to enjoy my own life. So this is saying enough is enough. Five, change. And then right above them, Right above it is optimism. You know, maybe I don't know where I'm going. And maybe that's why I'm picking up on blind faith. But definitely be proud of who you are today. You know, if nothing else, that's what this is saying. You know, like celebrate your individuality. I feel like in the soulmate energy, I don't, I feel like this is yet to come. Because it's, it's, um, connected to the Five of Pentacles. Let's bring in the Gilded Chirrell. 55, 33. Um, I've been seeing actually both those combinations a lot. Oh, I don't know why I cut them. Oh, my light just blinked too. I guess I was supposed to. We have the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups can certainly talk about making a decision. You know, maybe a cup is showing and I have to decide if I'm going to accept this cup or not. Some of the cups can certainly talk about also chaotic and like the energy around me at the moment is chaotic, but that doesn't stop the cup. It just puts a decision on you, right? It puts the ball in your court. Hello, 10 of cups right over the energy of optimism. Justice, Carta Libra. Ten of Wands, interesting. Over the Soulmates, interesting. Okay, well, let's finish and then we'll go back. I have a feeling some of you have been dealing with, um, doesn't even feel like, well, I mean, it does feel like love, but it feels like maybe family or, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's something that you've learned here. And I feel like one of the things is, you know, in the Ten of Wands, it's where all the responsibility is on your shoulders. Maybe that's what you're learning. Maybe that's what you have learned in love. It has got to be a two-way street, you know. And then justice, using the, the sword of justice, cutting the ties to really what just isn't serving you anymore. And it can mean energetically, because maybe someone gave you a tower over here and it put you in, you know, a disruptive state, so to, so to speak. Um, and maybe I, that makes me a little fearful of falling in love again. But yet here's the three of wands with the ten of cups. 
We have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like what this is saying is you've been on this learning path. You've been gaining knowledge as you've been going along. You bec you've been you're you're becoming wiser. Four of Cups. Four of Cups talks about discontentment or boredom in one's life. But I want you to look at this. There's a cup coming in. It's coming from the hand of divine. Now, oh, well, his cups are all aligned. But normally you'll see them all knocked over. Four of Cups, it, you know, it's an emotional energy. And... The Seven of Cups is here. That tells me a cup is coming your way. We have the soulmate energy here. You know, I feel like this is what you've been learning. That I can't be the only one who gives. I can't be the only one responsible for a relationship. If I'm going to fall in love, if I'm going to accept this cup, then I have to know that this is going to be a two-way street, that both of us are going to give and receive. It's important for both. I do feel like that's something you've been learning. And, you know, coming over the Five of Swords, also learning to cut ties. You know, what's no longer serving you, I've got to learn to let it go, right? Because here's the wheel. It's getting ready to spin. The Empress with that. You know, loving, nurturing, powerful, strong, creative. There's a million things I could say about the Empress. But the one thing I, I think is the most important thing is the Empress has a lot of experiences. She's gone through a lot, but she's overcome them. And she lives in the present moment. So if she's spinning that wheel then I'm telling you what's ever coming in is of a very high vibration. You know, it's, it's almost like I got a lot of parts of my life together, but maybe the one area that I still need a little help in is love is of an emotional nature is feeling comfortable choosing this cup. But there is a cup. There is a cup coming in. And, you know, coming over the Nine of Wands, I feel like you need to say to yourself, I deserve this. I deserve this. Look how far I've come, right? The Three of Wands, I'm learning to live in the present moment. I'm really learning to understand that this is where my spiritual team sends my signs, helps to guide me. And again, blind faith, but it is destiny. Okay, well, I feel like we got to bring on the romance angels. Um... I'm just going to take it right across the whole reading. But I don't want you to forget, we already have soulmates out. We already have this cup coming in. We have the Ten of Cups over a very optimistic energy. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust. You know, sometimes we can find ourselves in not such great relationships. We, we've all been there. I mean, I've been there multiple times. Um, and, you know, of course, sometimes we just want to shut down our heart. It's like, ah, I don't think I want to go through this again. But then, but then the right person comes in. Do you know what I mean? And because the Nine of Wands is here, I feel like you've learned so much about yourself. And maybe part of it was like, you know, I, I don't want to be in love if it's just going to be me giving. I don't think that's what's going to happen here.
Because with the three of pentacles, because this feels like love now, it says that this soulmate will appreciate you for exactly who you are, your individuality. You know, I often feel in that energy, there's nothing I need to change or this love won't tell me like, okay, well, I'll love you, but you need to change this about yourself and that about yourself. No, even if you're still in a little bit of fearful energy, let's say, I feel like they'll only help you to overcome that. They'll show you. I have a feeling you were connected to someone who did not show you. And that does make it a little harder than to allow myself to go into the next journey. But here it is. Here it is. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Don't be afraid. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. If you feel it, show it. Just because someone else in your past couldn't be who you had hoped they would be, it doesn't mean that, especially because we're talking about soulmate energy here with the wheel, which is destiny, um, and they appreciating your individuality, exactly who you are. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. You know, that's undeniable energy. That's chemistry. It's a type of energy when you meet or you come together. It would be so hard to deny it. Now, can you deny it? Yes, that's your choice. But I feel like it'd be very hard. And it's asking you to trust. Trust. Step into it. You know, we do have the Ten of Cups. And you'll hear me say often in a reading that we have to learn how to enjoy the journey without thinking about like, okay, if this isn't going to the Ten of Cups, then I have no interest. Well, we never know if it's going to the Ten of Cups because it's the seeds that we're planting right now that are really going to determine how this is going to turn out. If I just say, no, I'm not going to plant any seeds, then chances are it won't turn out. But the wheel is spinning. It's your time. The four of cups, there comes this cup. This is a soulmate. And I love how I feel like this reading is really saying that this is someone who, again, is going to, you know, those broken little pieces we have. Well, they're going to love that part of you also. And you, them, by the way, again, not a one-way street. This is two-way street. Maybe in the past, it was a one-way street. And that's what you don't want. But that's what you also had to leave, right? I had to find the guts to say no more. No more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. My true love is coming in. It's just part of my destiny. The Empress is saying, keep that heart open, right? Know that you're powerful. Through that Nine of Wands, that's what you're recognizing. You're, you're recognizing your power, but also you deserve. You know, you would not be the person you are today had you not gone through some of these experiences, we can't think past love is going to be future love. You know, I think about my past loves like back in the day and thank God they ended. It, and in that moment, did I want them to end? Probably not. But right now I'm with the love of my life. So thank God they did. Thank God they did. Okay. 
I'm going to leave it there. I feel like trust may be the most important energy here. Because if you don't trust it, well, though, in the same breath, I feel like I can be a little leery about something, but maybe at least give it an opportunity or give someone an opportunity. Um, you know, people will always reveal to you who they are. Sometimes you just need to give them an, enough time. But I also see the synchronicities here. All right. I think it's time to change decks. And Pisces. I'm going to use a good tarot for you. Give me a shuffle. And by the way, I know I didn't say this either. Um, all my decks are always pre-shuffled before I begin. That's when I do my meditation on each sign. Um, I tell my spirit guides I'm now ready and open to receive whatever messages they want to bring in. But I also like to shuffle with you here. Okay. Pisces last but not least. The high priestess. Your intuition. Your higher self. Your GPS in this lifetime. Oh, come on. Soulmates again. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Look at that. 22. The Three of Pentacles. Mm, the Nine of Pentacles. I like that a lot. Oh, I like all of it so far, to be honest. Look at this. From the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords, which is my yes card. Wow, Pisces. First of all, a soulmate, yes. I mean, look at this. First, we start with the High Priestess, which really is your GPS in this lifetime. You know, our intuition is a gift, and we're meant to use it for our guidance, Um you know, our intuition will guide us. We just have to learn to trust it. And the more we learn to trust it, the easier it becomes to trust it. So we open with that. That moves you into a soulmate energy. And then that moves you into the three of pentacles. Well, right now we're talking about love. So again, this is energy of someone who will appreciate you for exactly who you are and you them. Um, and then into the nine of pentacles. Well, Nine of Pentacles can certainly talk about like you're building, uh, you know, a business for yourself that you feel independent within your money. It doesn't have to mean you feel rich or you're all set. It just means that, you know, that's where I've been focusing. It can talk about singular energy, um, but it's really independent type energy. It's when I'm feeling pretty independent on my own two feet. But then very quickly, it goes into the Ten of Pentacles right under the soulmates hello hello i mean and then the ace of swords which is coming into the reading so this could talk about i mean you know i am not trying to make these love readings um but i you know i, I keep thinking i need to change my name because love comes out in all my readings in one form or another and i remember when i first began i'd be like I wouldn't put a video out because I'd be like, okay, no, I'm talking too much about love. But now, because I've learned to really trust my intuition, and I really do, um, even on the readings that I should do, I mean, like, instinctively, I felt like I wasn't even going to work today. And then, no, you got to do this reading, do this reading. So, and then if I don't do it, it just sits on me. It's like, oh, you got to do, you got to do it. So that's why, that's why I'm doing it. But I forget why I was saying all that. I know that drives some of you crazy. All right, we have the Six of Cups. 
You know, Six of Cups talks about happy memories. We have the Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Look how that landed right on top of the Romance Angels. The beautiful sun. Um, ruler of Leo. But this is about illumination. You know, the sun, anytime the sun comes out in a reading, I feel like it's about good times coming up. You know, to me, the sun is like a brand new day. But it is your illuminator. So I feel like there's nothing to fear when the sun comes out. Because, listen, if anything is done in the dark, the sun will bring it to the light. And that you can trust in. I feel like some of you may have thought someone of the past was a soulmate. And it's not that they couldn't have been. Because again, soulmates help teach each other. We are really mirrors of each other. Um, but I also feel there's different levels. And, you know, it does feel... I, I just get this feeling like I may have given someone a title of a soulmate and they may not have been a real soulmate look at this the ace of cups over the nine of pentacles that makes sense because this is singular energy then comes the ace of cups and then you move into coupled energy that just so happens to be connected to the uh the soulmates then we have the four of pentacles and let's take one more on that. Beautiful. The three of wands. So this is looking at life in a different, different lens. This is an optimistic view. Three of pentacles or three of wands talks about the willingness to live in the present moment and not trying to like have a whole bunch of control. This is saying to your team, your spiritual team, I know that my ships will come in. I just know that. I trust that. In the meantime, I'm going to live in the present moment. I'm going to enjoy the present moment, um, especially with the sun right above it. By the way, there is that 33 again. I feel like I feel like almost every reading has had 33 in it. Um, but I, I feel like this is really quite easy. I feel like this is saying that there's someone of your past that maybe it hoped would be like the ultimate one. But because the five of pentacles is here, that tells me that something didn't work out. Um, you know, but maybe it it's it's it ran its course. You know what I mean? Um, I also feel in the five of pentacles, though, that what you're moving towards is soulmate energy. And I mean that in all ways, like soulmate love. Yes, it's showing that. But also like your soulmate family. And I don't mean like a blood family. I mean your soulmate family. I feel like we're all one big soulmate. I love the four of wands coming over the ten of pentacles. Because that tells me that um, whoever this is, that they're grounded that you're probably grounded at this point, especially when we're moving into the three of wands, which is, again, making that choice, because it is a choice to be optimistic, to know that I don't need to know, you know, everything. I just need to put those intentions out there and then watch them come back. The sun illuminates. The sun makes you feel good. It makes you feel playful. It makes you enjoy life. I love that it's coming over the three of pentacles because it's illuminating your in individuality. And then the ace of cups coming over the nine of pentacles where you yourself are feeling strong, independent. And when I say independent, it doesn't mean like, like I, I don't want love. It just means that maybe I spent some time working on myself, working on my career, building up my pentacles. But then here comes the Ace of Cups and how quickly it moves into coupled energy. That is fast. That is fast. And the Ace of 
swords is coming into the reading. Well, you probably heard me say it multiple times, but that is my yes card. So, let's take the romance angels out. I mean, not only do you have the Ace of Cups, which really is unconditional love. Um, and it can be love of many lifetimes. It doesn't have to be one lifetime. But you also have soulmates. And it's showing you very quickly, like going from single energy to coupled energy. Now, I know that's your choice. But I feel like what this is saying, it has, it will have that ability. And don't forget, the first thing that opened up your reading is your intuition. So your intuition is guiding you. You know, your spiritual team reaches you through your intuition. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. My God, after I just said what I said. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Make the effort. Look at this. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I just realized I didn't take a major arcana for you. So we'll finish it with your major arcana. All right, we're not taking all those, but look at this. Soulmate. So now we have two soulmates. I had a very few cards. Yes, this is your soulmate. Here is my yes card. This heading right back to the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, that then turns into the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, this is your soulmate. Do you believe me? Do you have an optimistic view? Are you living in the present moment? Because it all feels like it's just naturally coming your way. All right, let's do your major arcana. Oh, well, that did not take long. And look what came out. The high priestess. You're being guided, Pisces. You're being asked to trust your intuition. You know, this is your higher self. Who's been there, done that, probably multiple lifetimes. And knowing that you have all that wisdom, you know, as humans, we don't think that sometimes. We forget that we are spiritual beings, that there really is nothing we can't overcome. And the more that we are living in the present moment and allowing well, I feel the more blessings come our way. Soulmate. Soulmate. Optimism. The sun. The Ace of Cups is taking you from single status into coupled status. And it is safe for you to love. This, these two, well, they're just meant to be together. I mean, what else can I say? They're meant to be together. Beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I, I'm telling you, I did not like say I want to do love readings, but I do leave myself completely open to whatever wants to come out. I trust my intuition. Mirrored energy. And I feel like a lot of times with soulmates, that's what you find. Like once you do connect and then you have these heart to heart discussions, you'll find that a lot of your lives mirror each other. Not exactly. Some, it can be like, you know, Sam and I, we have all, like a lot of like we got married, not to each other, but to other people. 
at the same age. We both have two children. We and they're both both of our children are the same age. Um, we got divorced a very close, like around. I think he got divorced a year later than me. Now I didn't know any of this. He didn't know any of this about me because I was living my life. He was living his life. Um, but what I'm saying is there that you you'll find. It's like, ah, oh, we have a lot of similar experiences. That's why I feel like soulmates can really help heal those last broken little pieces. But Pisces, you're going from single status into coupled status, and it is with the soulmate. Will you accept this ace? Will you accept my love? I love you guys. I thank you. Um, I'm going to stop talking so I can get this reading out and over to you. I just loved it. I'm so glad I did it. Um, I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.